this is how I look like after a zombie apocalypse. Yep. Maybe you were there. I don't know. Were you? Last night? I think it's time we talk about the great divide that is happening right now. And I'm not someone who usually speaks about these things that are happening right now as if I'm some kind of a authority on whatever is happening on the world but I'm getting a pretty good sense of it and the thing is if you are a truther or you're searching for the truth trying to dig into whatever there is that is standing in your way whatever gatekeepers you might encounter and trying to find the truth you might have noticed like I have recently the closer you get to the truth, the more you're met with hate and really negative reactions and even abuse. That's what's happening right now. Because apparently um, you can either be on that side where you're looking for the truth and you're expressing whatever it is that you've found and... Some people are going to be like, yeah, I feel like that too, I think you're right. Some people are going to be thinking, you know, I'm not so sure, but I'm going to check it out. Not just block the idea or the theory right away. And some people are going to be like straight hate without even reading your whole thing. And it's not like I care too much about people's opinion, it's just noticing what is happening you know as a group of people but i feel like lately that's what's been happening and it's in a way more helpful to discern who is who you know who is going to be on your team and who is not going to be on your team and i don't want to be dividing people but i like the idea of knowing whom to stay away from because people who meet you with hate straight away and are racist and feel comfortable to just abuse you emotionally mentally psychologically twist things around uh, just for having ideas of your own basically these are not healthy people and their reaction is kind of um, really exaggerated and blown out of proportion. And I know that haters have been there all the time, always. But this is a new wave of haters. Like, we all are into one or another type of a conspiracy these days. They call it conspiracy theories. Well, guess what? They... There wouldn't be any conspiracy theories if there were any conspiracies. But whether you believe that vaccines are toxic to children or you start reading about flat earth or you're into UFO things or you're into the whole bank system and whoever controls the world and... <laughs> different type of types of you know entities and all of that we all might be drawn to different things but the thing is usually people who are looking for the truth are not so judgmental on others it's like you're you are you have that type of psyche that is more open-minded you know what i mean it's not like so brutally primitive that's what it is, it's freaking primitive and I think this is interesting and as a whole new theory of things I think it's meant to divide us that's why I decided to call this video The Great Divide because I think it's now even more a reason for us to find reasons to unite and to connect with each other because there are reasons to connect with each other. We are not that different, every one of us. We can find a common ground where we really are on the same ground. And we can always agree to disagree. We don't have to abuse each other. We don't have to call each other names. We don't have to, you know, 
judge and be racist that's like the last thing you have to do to feel proud about who you are you know it's really twisted so i think if we really are into looking for the truth we have to be able to rise above it all and i've been attacked for for a long time now um I've been under attack, I've been also under a racist attack recently. It's important that we are able to rise above the situation and look at it from a different perspective to be able to see these reactions and these people and where it's all coming from because all of their reactions seem the same, it's just the courses are different and if it's the same then where is it coming from? Even if it's the same idea, where is that idea coming from? And if we're all dividing and we're all going to, into these small groups and small groups and into the small groups, there's more division. We can't do anything about the important stuff that is happening in the world. And there is a reason, there is a phrase, divide and conquer. And in Bulgaria we have a great saying that says, which means unity creates the power it's not like we need the power but the power is within all of us if we connect we can create so much better reality and world and life to live in you know sometimes you feel like you want to isolate and that's the more healthy thing to do for you at that certain situation or period of time i know i do that too um but we can still come together even using the internet that's what we're doing lately a lot well, when you see one of these soldiers of hate <laughs> try not to give them all your energy you know i it's really hard to do mm, and i'm very tempted to protect or to defend myself always but at some point you're just like this is ridiculous you know they, these people don't know you a lot of them don't even have like a real profile they're fake profiles a lot of them are just like one person writing to you from like five different profiles that all have fake maybe even names fake pictures and everything's fake so just at some point you realize this is, this is ridiculous you don't have to give it your energy you can put your energy at some other place where it will make you feel better it will make you grow it will make you go closer to your dreams and help the world around you as well because i can sit here all day and digging into conspiracy theories and I can go out into the world and garden, <laughs> cook something tasty, do a photo shoot, meet new people, teach some people about things that I know and, you know, uh, entertain them with my knowledge, learn something from them, because you can learn from everybody. We don't have to all agree about everything, that's impossible. That's never gonna be possible, we are all individuals, that's the whole point, and that's my point also, you can't have like 15 different people acting and expressing themselves exactly the same and not doubt that, because we are individuals as we were built with our healthy kind of psyche is authentic and there's no way you can be like a copy from another being maybe from 8 billion people you'll be one copy but <laughs> I, I hope you see what I mean so to summarize this I think these are the days where it's gonna be more important for us as society as people of the world to connect to each other and to be more unified if you will and find that one opinion or one ideology that we all 
agree upon. Maybe it's empathy for one another. Maybe it's the will to create something better for the world, for us. And maybe it's just the taste in music, you know? You can connect on so many levels with people. So, I don't want to make this video really long. That's probably what I had to say. And don't forget that the more well-read you are, <laughs> the less educated or the more crazy you'll seem to the brainwashed. So if I seem crazy to you and not educated, thank you. I wish you a beautiful, lovely day.